<laughs> Anyways, in all seriousness, because we are very serious here and in this class, just kidding. Um, same sort of balance, a little bit of effort, a little bit of ease. Don't do anything that, you know, is painful. If it's painful, you're probably trying too hard. Uh, back off a little. And what that'll do is allow things to actually soften instead of your body trying to protect itself from something you shouldn't be doing. So just be easy on your bodies. We will be going into a little bit deeper stretches today. So we'll get a little deeper into the psoas. Uh, nothing super intense. So take it in the form that you need it. So you don't have to look like your neighbor. See how you're feeling. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. You guys have been here before. You know the dealio. So let's just begin to close our eyes and bring in this beautiful weather, this beautiful day into our beautiful consciousness that we share. You can feel free to wiggle around left and right. Just noticing your sit bones. Maybe sway forward and backwards a little. We're just trying to find where your center is. Begin to notice your breath, bring it to your low belly. Let's begin to spiral into that stillness, into that center, bring the heart above the pelvis, the head above the heart. And let's take a big inhale through the nose, bring the shoulders up to the ears. Let the rib cage lift. And then exhale, we'll roll the shoulders back, bring the chin to the sky. Let the air fall out. Let's do that again. Inhale, shoulders to the ears, rib cage lift. Chin lifts, let the shoulders drop. Exhale. And one more time at your pace, let it all just bloom. Feeling that nice breeze, feeling that nice sunshine, and letting it all go. Let the breath just pour back in naturally and fall back out. Begin to notice the back of your body from your sit bones all the way to the crown of your head. So sort of do a little mental scan of the back of your body. Begin to notice the front of your body, the legs, the belly, the chest, the face. And notice the whole body resting in space. And really, it's anything that reminds you you have a body while your eyes are closed. So any tingling, pressure, temperature. Doesn't have to have words. It could be that sort of gentle vibration. That's like, whoa, I'm here. And if your mind's wandering, and you notice it, guess what? You're practicing mindfulness. So bust yourself, be like, you're busted. I'm mindful and come back to noticing what is now, what is here, what is real. Great, let's bring our attention to our hands. Just noticing whatever is there. Notice sounds, it's almost impossible to not notice all these beautiful birds singing. Great, on your next inhale, let's bring those hands up and overhead, nice big stretch. Go ahead and lift your chin to the sky, blink your eyes open, greet the day in, and let's exhale, turn towards the left knee and just fold gently. 
So don't worry about the shape you're making. Just make the shape feel good. You should be getting a little stretch in the top of that right or that left hip. Great, inhale, bring those arms up. Sorry about the dirt on your hands. See if you can switch your feet, whoa. Well done, I almost fell earlier, so better than I did earlier. And then exhale, we'll fold to the other side. Put the opposite hip, just relax. Let's see if both hips can just sink towards the earth. Wonderful, let's bring those hands up and overhead, brush your hands off again. And we'll bring the fingers behind us, fingertips will face the booty. So I'll show you from the side here. So face the booty, lift the heart, lift the chin, shake the head, no. Let that chin be really soft, let the jaw be soft, let the mouth be soft. Maybe rolling the triceps away from the torso gently. Great, bring the head back to neutral. We're gonna engage the fingertips and just bring the knees up, great. And let's inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart and just let the knees flop really gently left and right. Doesn't matter how far down they go. You can close your eyes and just let your body guide you. Now I will say breathing's a good idea, just kind of in general. <laughs> it keeps you alive from what I hear. Great, just another round or two, nice and slow. You can bring your chin forward anytime, shaking the head. Great, and let's bring the feet together, knees apart here, and just fold forward. If you can put your forearms outside your shins, that's, that's pretty good, that's nice. And just fold, you can sway your way down if that feels good. You notice I use that phrase, if it feels good, often. I'm ingraining it in you. Don't do things that feel horrible. We're not here to punish ourselves. Great. So if you're wanting to get a little bit more into the low back area, see if you can have a bit more of a flat back. Reaching the crown of the head outward. We, we hunch forward all the time because of our phones and our computers and, you know, like, Life, life gets us down, makes our shoulders drag down. So try to have a nice flat back here. Breathe. Beautiful. Let the next inhale gently bring you back up. We'll bring the knees back up also. We'll bring the hands behind the booty, fingertips facing the booty. Roll the shoulders back. And this time we're gonna engage the toes and lift our butts. Let the head fall back and breathe. If your tummy gurgles, it means you had a good breakfast. You can shake your head. If this is too much on your neck, you can stare past your knees. So take whatever version you want. If your butt only gets an inch off the ground, you are still doing it. Great, one more big inhale, lift, lift, lift. And exhale, we'll bring our butts down. And we're gonna bring our legs out wide. So I'm sorry, we are outside. You might get a tiny bit of dirt on your little heelsy poos, but I think we'll all survive here, right? Great, so from here, instead of just folding straight down, let's explore our range of motion by just sort of sweeping the air forward. So imagine you're, you know, a little leaf trembling in the wind and just notice where you're feeling tight, notice where you're feeling loose. You can twist your torso if you want and just get to know like, you know, without judgment, because I'm sure it's easy to go like, man, I am tight, I gotta do this more often. Instead of doing that, just go like, ooh, that's curious. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Self-love pusher over here. 
Great. And if you feel an area that needs a little bit more attention, just pause there for a moment and breathe. Breathe into that little spot that you're noticing. If your knees need to be a little bent, nothing will burst into flames. And notice where you're feeling things more, most acutely. See if anything around that can soften. Breathe. Awesome, let's find a little more movement again, sort of grease the gear. Wonderful, let's go to the center and just pause here. And we're just gonna rest. Now it's okay if you're totally upright. Don't feel like you have to be down flat on your belly. This is a challenging area for a lot of people. And if your knees are a little bent, nothing will burst into flames, although that would be pretty rad. And just listen to the bird. Notice your breath moving that whole torso. Allowing the hips to settle, the tops of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, the insides and outsides of both legs to soften. Just a few more breaths here. Wherever you are, begin to reach your arms straight out like you're trying to grab something like, like you know, your dog put something in his mouth. You're like, ah, come here. And you're trying to grab it. So just reach out. And then we're going to sweep the air reaching out. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my mind, but I feel like dog life, right? <laughs> the sweep bag, they always inevitably eat it before they, you can get to them. Great. And we're going to just sway our way back up. Wonderful. So be really easy with yourself. Grab those knees, pick them up like sweet little babies. We're going to lay on our backs. We're going to lay on our backs like we're sitting in a chair totally the wrong way. So your knees are up, your shins are parallel with the ground, your arms are out like a T, palm side down. Let your head rest. Great. Notice the natural curve in your low back. If it's not there, see if you can bring it back just a little. And we're going to exhale, slowly let the knees go towards the right, almost all the way down. Great. Inhale them up using the core, not the arms, to bring them up. And then exhale to the left. Great. Inhale them up. See if the knees can stay together this time as they go towards the right. And up, inhale, don't forget to breathe. Exhale to the left. Great, if you're feeling ambitious, maybe straighten your legs. We're gonna go straight to the right side now. So we're speeding it up just a little. And then all the way to the left side. All the way to the right. and all the way to the left. Two more rounds, we can do this all the way to the right. All the way to the left. Last round, all the way to the right. And all the way to the left. That was a genuine grunt there, guys. Back to the center, make your weird chair situation with your legs. Great, and then just let your legs flop all the way to the left, all the way to the ground. We're settling this time. Great, you can place your left hand on the outside of that right leg. 
But if you need more of a stretch, you can cross that right leg over the left, like ladylike style. Yeah. So kind of cross the knees over each other and do it that way. If that feels yummy. Beautiful. And breathe, let that hip settle. So let both hips relax. Maybe gaze past those right fingertips. Whee! Great, go ahead and release. We're gonna bring the knees back up. You're like, my God, don't have us do it again. And then go towards the right. You can cross that leg if you want. You can keep them however you want. And that right hand can just rest on the outside of that left leg, just like a little weight. You can gaze past the left fingertips. Or you can look up at the sky through the tree, see the clouds passing by slowly. Breathe. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Great, let's release, bring the knees back up. Give yourself a big hug here because you're like, you did it, you did a good job. And we're gonna roll forwards and backwards and end up in a low Buddha squat at the top of the mat. So however you get there is groovy with me. But we're gonna end up in this low Buddha squat. Now I understand not everybody's Achilles tendon can re have their heel reach the ground. If you're not failing, sometimes anatomy doesn't allow for certain things. Yeah, bring your feet out wide enough to accommodate your hips. See if you could bring palms at heart center here. And feel free to sort of wiggle around till you find a nice settled spot. Come out of your shell, so let your spine be nice and tall here. And let your tailbone reach towards the ground. Breathe. Really good spot for your hips. Great, let's take a big inhale. And we're gonna exhale, place the hands down. Let's inhale, bring the hips up just a little. And then exhale back down. So we're gonna do this thing where we raise our butts up a few times. Great, exhale, bring, bring the hands down. Inhale, bring the hips up. So find your own rhythm, kind of making your hamstrings a little less creaky. So find your own rhythm for a moment here. Great, and one more round. We're gonna end up in a soft forward fold. You can have your feet face forward then. That's an alliteration, almost great. And from here, we're just gonna come into a halfway lift. Great, fold forward, heel toe, your feet to where your big toes are touching. Little space between the heels. And all the way up, look up, greet the day. Palms at heart center. Ooh, there's a rock under my mat. That's exciting. <laughs> Arms up, look up. And exhale, fold forward. If your knees bend, that's fine. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, high plank down to your belly. Keep your elbows close. Inhale, up dog, cobra, baby cobra, whatever. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, spin those triceps away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward, lift the heels. Take a few steps to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Fold all the way up, look up, 
Exhale, palms at heart center. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, high or low plank, down to your belly. Try to keep those elbows close. Inhale, up dog or cobra, look up. And exhale, down dog. Engage those fingers, breathe. You can walk it out if you need to. Make friends with those hamstrings. You could bend your knees generously and get into your shoulders a little more. Beautiful, yeah, get wiggly, guys. One more big inhale. Let it all out, good. And walk to the top of the mat for halfway lift. Fold. Let's come all the way up, look up. And palms at heart center. One last time, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, high plank, down to the belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, look forward, step or hop to halfway lift, fold, all the way up, and palms at heart center, great, inhale, arms up, we're going to do Charlie's Angels down here, so let your index fingers be free, and just talk side to side, make sure you're breathing, notice your heartbeat, Notice your feet on the ground. Notice your breath, bring it to your low belly. So slow things down, get present again. Great. So now is your opportunity to bring the fingers forward. So you're shooting me for the abdominal work a little bit ago. Not friendly, but, but I'll take it, you know, whatever. And then we'll point towards the ground and just let it sway. Great, release the hands, we'll come to halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bring that right leg back, right knee down. And let's inhale the arms up, look up. So we're getting into that psoas, keep those hips square, keep the tailbone heavy. Great, exhale, down to the belly or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Hold the ground with those fingers, spread them out wide. Breathe from the belly and make the shape work for you. Great, let's bring that right leg forward. Left knee down. Perfect, bring the arms up. Great, hands back down. We'll step for halfway lift and fold. Come all the way up, look up, inhale, and palms at heart center. We'll do that exact sequence again. So inhale, arms up, look up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. So press into the top, but woo, lost my earbud. As the arms come up, look up. Great, come down to your belly or chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe, walk it out. You can always take a tabletop. You can always take a child's pose instead of a down dog. Don't feel the social pressure in this class. Great, let's inhale that right leg forward. Left knee down and bring the arms up. So square those hips, heavy tailbone. Great, hands back down. 
halfway lift. Fold. All the way up. Look. And palms at heart center. Last time, arms up. Look up. If there's a hawk, exhale <laughs> down, fold forward. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Halfway lift. Right leg back, right knee down. And bring your arms up. He's still there. Great. Down to your belly. And a dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Yes. Enjoy nature while you're here, please. Keep breathing. Great. Let's inhale that right leg forward. Left knee down. Great. Let's bring the arms up. Hands back down. Let's come to halfway lift. And fold. All the way up. And palms at heart center. Before our next sequence, I'm gonna have you drop your hands and do this. So it's called tiger and butterfly in yoga. I call it quit hitting yourself because I had two older brothers. So you know what to do. Just let your arms be slappy. Let your arms be loose. Sometimes just loose free movement. It's just as important as these long holds. So allow your arms to just do what they do instead of forcing them into feeling stuff. All right. So come back to neutral. We're going to come into a little bit longer holds on this one. So just be prepared to luxuriate. That's the key word here. You're luxuriating in it. You're not pressing yourself. You're like, ooh, that feels yummy. Let it feel good. So let's inhale the arms up, look up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. Great, we're gonna bring the arms up, but we'll bring the hands behind the head here. Make sure your hips are fairly square. And if you don't know what that means, you can always touch your hips to make sure they're square. Great, and we're gonna just let the elbows go left and right here. So you're gonna really feel it in the top of that right hip, the psoas area, which kind of wraps around and wraps down. So feel the feels there. Breathe. We're gonna let the elbow go towards the left just for a moment. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Keep that tailbone super heavy. Great, arms up. And let's bring that right hand down like a karate chop, like left arm open like a book. Yes, I use sound effects. Great, so that right hand, you can keep it open or you can place it on the outside of that left leg and help you twist more if that feels good. And that left hand, you can drop it and have, you, have it grab that right leg if that works. Either way, let those shoulders be heavy and breathe. So actually notice your breath, notice your feet, your thighs, your hamstrings. You can bend into that right knee more if you want. Just a couple more breaths, I promise. Great, let's inhale, bring the arms up. Woohoo! exhale, hands on the inside of that left foot. And we're gonna walk that left foot to the outside of the mat just a little. Great, so for plenty of people like, whoop, found the stretch, I'm here. You can stay there, that's totally fine. If you wanna go further, you can tuck that back toe, lift the knee, that's another option or you can come down to your elbows in either one of those. But before you decide where you're going, actually notice where your body's at. Lots of little nuances here. 
if you have a block, you may want to use the block to put your elbows on. If you're like, I'm almost there, I'm not there. Oh, use a block, put your elbows there. Awesome. So you're going to notice a lot. This is what I call the existential crisis pose. This is where a lot of people are like, oh my God, what is life? What is going on? My body is going in different directions. You're not alone. We're all under a tree. It's Saturday. <laughs> it's morning. You're doing good. Wonderful. Now, if you want to transition further, you can begin to peel that left foot open, sort of roll it onto its pinky toe. And that hip will open up a little. It's just an option. If you were cool the other way, stay there. But notice the outside of that left hip. Notice the top part of that left hip. See if anything can soften. See if the glute can relax. See if the inside of the leg can relax. And breathe, notice the birds, notice the smell of the grass. Notice the breeze. That right hip, that right psoas is softening. That left hip is softening. Just a few more moments here. Wonderful. So if you are on your elbows or forearms, you can begin to slowly peel your body up. Feel free to wiggle left and right really gently. Bring that knee up, Ooh, right? Heel, toe it back to the center. Great. Anchor both hands down. We're gonna come into a high plank just for a moment. And just let those hips shift left and right. Make sure you're breathing. Just let them shift left and right as far down as you want to go. Just to sort of reset what's going on here. Great. Let's lower down to our bellies for a moment. And we're going to place our hands by our hips. Great. So for this next part, our feet will stay down the whole time. Easier said than done. You will soon find out. So let all your air out. And inhale, we'll lift our head, heart, and hands. Good, and exhale down. We'll just do five. Two, bring it up as high as you can. And down. Three, really bring those arms up. And down. Four. And down. Five, go ahead and lift the feet this time. Bring the hands forward. You're Superman. You're in tur turbulent wind. Things are getting crazy, but you're in control. Five, four, lift, lift, lift. Three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. You can bring your feet up and let them windshield wiper left and right. Wonderful. So we're gonna go into a brief extended child's pose here. So find your way there. Arms so far forward that the elbows are actually lifted. And just notice the breath in the back of your body. Notice it in your low back, notice it in your torso, notice it in your shoulders. Notice that whole movement of the entire back of your body as you're breathing.
great. Let's inhale to tabletop. Just for a moment, shake your booty if it feels good. We'll tuck the toes and exhale to a down dog here. Wonderful. So let's bring that right leg forward, left knee down. Ha ha, there was a whole other side, I almost made you forget. And let's bring those arms up. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head here. And just explore that area. Letting that tail be very heavy, let, it, let the tail be heavy and have the hips be square. You're so square hips. Great, and let's pause with the elbows, uh, with the tilt towards the right side. So we're opening up the left side of that psoas there. Breathe, only go as far as you're comfortable with. And if you have to come back to neutral at any point, totally, totally fine. It's a journey for all of us. Great, we'll come back to neutral, bring our arms up. We'll bring the left arm down like we're karate chopping. Bring the right arm open like a book. Great. Now, if you want, you can drop that left hand on the outside of that right leg to twist further. You can also bring that right hand behind that left leg if that feels good. Keep that tailbone nice and heavy. Yeah, make that stretch work for you. Wonderful. Now, if you want to bend into that front knee more, you can. If you're like, no, nah, I'm good. That's cool too. <laughs> Breathe. Great, let's allow an inhale to bring our arms back in the air like we just don't care, but I think we care. And then we're gonna exhale, bring the hands on the inside of that right foot, heel toe that foot to the outside of the mat. And this side will be different from the other side. So just, you know, be along for the ride here. So you can have be up on your hands and that could be it. You can lift your back knee. Totally choose your own adventure yoga, man, which is the way it should be. <laughs> man, I love those books. I cheated every time. I'd be like, whoops, I died. I got to go back. <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if elbows are not in it for you today, you can be on your hands. Maybe somebody will throw you a block if you need one. And if you want, you be, can begin rolling that right foot towards the pinky, opening that hip up. Just notice the inside of that leg, the outside of the hip. The glute. The breeze, the birds. We're noticing all these things from the same space. So just a few more breaths here. Wonderful, just begin to slowly come onto your hands. If you're on your forearms, slowly bring that knee up. Bring that right hand on the outside of that right foot, heel toe the foot back in the center. And we're gonna come to one last high plank. So anchor the hands, bring that right foot back and just let the hips go left and right here. Make sure you're breathing. Wonderful. Great, so go ahead and bring your knees down. 
They can go as wide as your mat if you'd like. One more extended child's pose. <sighs> go ahead and letting the inhale peel your body up. I'm gonna face you guys. Finally, I'm facing you. You're gonna peel your bodies up. See if you can bring your knees together. We won't be here for very long. I know this is hard on some people's ankles, but you're gonna be like you're, like you're unsteady sitting on your heels. Oops, I fell to the right or to the left, sorry. Well, you fell off your feet, oh no. Exactly, great. So you're on your left side here. Place your, place your right hand down, bring that left hand up. So if your butt, yeah, there you go. Basically the hand that is opposite of the feet. Great, look past that armpit and breathe. The longer you allow your spine to be, the better stretch you're gonna get too. So don't collapse your spine, it's really tempting. You feel that, huh, Fodger? <laughs> Ah, and breathe. Just a couple more breaths here. Great, let's exhale, bring that hand back down. Gently sit back on the heels and oh no, I'm so unsteady, I fell off the other side. There you go. Left hand's down, right hand comes up. Look past the armpit. And almost imagine as you're breathing in, just space being created between each rib. Really focus on the expansiveness of the breath, the direction of the breath. It sounds so like ridiculous and hippy dippy until you actually feel it and you're like, oh man, okay, <laughs> that feels nice. Ah, one more big inhale. And let's exhale that hand all the way down. We're gonna lay on our backs now. Go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. One hand on each knee actually, and let's make some big circles here. So sort of massaging the sacral area of your low back getting a little booty massage, using the ground. Thanks, ground. Thanks, Mother Earth. <laughs> Great, let's place our feet on the ground. Knees are up, hands are by the hips. And let's inhale, lift the hips, bring the hands behind the back. Great, exhale down. We'll just do five of these. Try to keep your toes on the ground. Inhale, two. And bring it all the way down. Inhale, three. Lift, lift, lift. And down. Four. And down. Last one, we'll hold just for a moment and just let your hips gently shift left and right. Really subtle. Letting your belly be so soft. Great, and go ahead and bring it down. Now you can come into a happy baby if you'd like. You can do a twist if you'd like. You can stand on your head if you'd like. Whatever you do, do something that feels good, that is self-directed, that is something that would feel like you are solidifying your practice today because ultimately it is your practice. Hence the choose your own adventure and if it feels good. Wonderful, take these next few moments to nourish, to luxuriate, to be sweet to yourself.
Wonderful. So before we enter Shavasana, just place your feet on the ground. Knees are up. When, one, when, that's not a word, but by the way, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and just look through these leaves. Look to the sky. Connect because, you know, by the way, it's, you know, Earth Day. I had no idea until you guys got here, but we're doing it. But take a moment to really feel your feet on the ground. Feel your body supported by the earth. To soften your eyes, you can see just movement and color, light and shadow. Notice your torso and rib cage moving with your breath. Notice your heartbeat. Wonderful. So you can stay like this for your Shavasana if it feels good. Or you can begin to spread out like a little starfish in the middle of a king size bed. But regardless of where you are, allow the area between your eyebrows to soften. Let the line between your eyelashes cease finding movement. Let your cheeks, your jaw, and your mouth soften entirely. You can even rest the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth to soften your jaw a little more. Notice the soft tickle of air in the back of your throat. And let's take a big inhale. And as you exhale, notice the weight of your head and your shoulders. Allow your hips to settle, your thighs and hamstrings, your calves, your ankles, your feet. Allow those to get heavy. Enjoy your Shavasana. I'll sound the bell when it's complete. So slowly, slowly, begin to bring your awareness back to your breath. Back to the cool air at the tip of your nose as you inhale. And the warm air escaping as you exhale. You can wiggle your fingers and toes and shake your head. And when you're ready, on any old exhale, you can roll to whatever side you want. And come up to seated on any old inhale.
Wonderful. Let's take one more big inhale together. Bring our arms to the sky, greeting the day back in. Great, and let's exhale, palms to heart center, bringing these good feelings into our day, hoping to share that with other people. Thank you for joining, letting me be a part of this journey with you. Namaste.